This is the kind of information that you should seriously consider when you weigh up your thoughts on a car company. What companies need is economies of scale, they need batteries, and they need efficient production in order to compete over the next 10 years. So that is why this news is extremely important. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you here from Newcastle, Australia. I'm going to spend the Christmas period here in Newcastle. I'm hoping to get out for a surf tomorrow. The waves are looking good. Now, CATL, they are building a battery gigafactory near Tesla China's gigafactory in Shanghai. This is the kind of news which is extremely important when you weigh up can a car company compete with Tesla? Now, I know a lot of you still believe in Legacy Auto, but it is extremely difficult if you are manufacturing cars outside of China to compete with China. And this is one of the key reasons. If the world's largest battery company, which sells batteries at the lowest price, builds a factory just down the road from your factory in order to supply you with batteries, then you have a significant advantage over your competition. Now, China's battery giant CATL is producing a plant next year in Shanghai's Lingang and will go into production in 2022. And that is incredibly fast. It's actually quicker than anyone predicted. Everyone was saying 2023 and now they've changed their minds and they're saying 2022. This is the kind of news which I believe has to make you think, is Tesla stock price really overvalued? I mean, its PE right now is about 260 price to earnings. Sure, that's crazy. But you look at the PE of a company like Apple at 30. But what are Apple doing with their money right now? Are they investing it wisely or are they just stockpiling it? Yep, it's worth thinking about. Now, this production base will contribute significantly to the development of Shanghai's high-end equipment manufacturing industry. And it will allow Tesla's Gigafactory in China to significantly increase its output as it plans to do in 2022. Now, I've predicted that Tesla will manufacture 600 to 700,000 vehicles at its factory in Shanghai next year. And this is one of the key reasons, the capacity to quickly and efficiently scale up and have more battery production. Now, on August the 18th, CATL and the Shanghai government signed a strategic cooperation framework agreement to build a manufacturing base in Shanghai, which is expected to make it more convenient for Tesla's battery supply. Cheaper, more convenient, more efficient. Wow. Very, very, very scary if you are the competition. Now, as a supplier to Tesla, NIO, and numerous other car companies, CATL will build a project in Shanghai that includes a global innovation center as an international functional headquarters, a future energy research institute, and high-end manufacturing base, according to a previous CATL announcement. Now, actually, CATL did say few months ago, they're going to build this factory here in Shanghai. They also at the time said it would be providing 70 gigawatt hours of batteries to Tesla. 70 gigawatt hours. That is massive. Now, reports in Chinese media say that the two sides, CATL and Tesla, will deepen their cooperation in the areas of cutting edge new vehicle technology, research and innovative applications, urban transportation, electrification transformation, and a new high end talent cultivation the announcement said now you got to wait till the end of this video because i'm going to point something out that i think is really significantly worth considering which would be a game changer for potentially both catl and tesla so i'll get to that in a second now this agreement was signed at the time with catl by the ling yang group which manages the ling yang area that is home to the plant of Tesla, the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer. So the world's largest battery company is just down the road from the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer. This is a formidable pairing. Now, if you're not sure about the history of Tesla and CATL, in February 2020, CATL signed an agreement with Tesla to supply lithium batteries between July 2020 and June 2022. Then in June 25, 2021, they signed a new agreement building on the above agreement and significantly, I believe, changing the outputs, massively changing the amount of batteries that CATL will deliver to Tesla. One of these key reasons, remember, Elon Musk tweeted 
what is the battery chemistry of the future? And he said lithium iron phosphate. Didn't say NCA, didn't say NCM, didn't say solid state batteries, didn't say semi-solid state batteries, specifically just gave one answer, lithium iron phosphate, CATL, what do they manufacture? Lithium iron phosphate batteries. So here, two things, two things, right? The first, the Tesla Model A, Model 2, whatever you want to call it, I believe Tesla plan on manufacturing those next year. I know it sounds quick, I know it sounds soon, but there's a key reason why they need 70 gigawatt hours of batteries, and it's not for the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3, sure, they'll use some of those, but seriously, to need that many batteries for the Model 3 and the Model Y at one factory, it doesn't seem logical that they'd need that many batteries for that, because they're already getting a massive amount of batteries, right, from companies for those vehicles. So to add an additional 70 gigawatt hours, I mean, realistically, surely a significant percentage of those batteries are gonna go into the much cheaper, more affordable Tesla Model A, Model 2. And that vehicle, I believe, will become the top selling vehicle potentially in the world, compete with the BYD Dolphin. One of the key reasons the price, Tesla will be able to offer a cheaper price for that vehicle with the fact that CHL will be providing them with the batteries, lithium iron phosphate batteries, at a significantly lower cost than any other company can provide batteries for in the world. Now, second point, that is, I believe CATL are working on Tesla's 4680 battery cells. So the battery cells that will likely go into this Tesla Model A and Model 2 and probably Model Y and Model 3 in the future will be lithium iron phosphate chemistry into Tesla's 4680 size tubes. This is a game changer. You can imagine why, connect the dots here, Tesla share price is not looking so overpriced when you consider these facts. Thanks for watching the channel. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.